Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Real Tom for Songs. I am Real Tom, and I will be bringing you the uh, the Premier League prediction for Game Week Three. I'm sorry I couldn't get my Game Week Two predictions out. Uh, the recording time, should we say? Uh, at that time when I needed to record, I couldn't record um, due to an internet failure. Um, so yeah, uh, I, w I would disclose them, but there's no point. Uh, I will do prediction videos as much as I possibly can. Anyway, the game week three predictions are coming to your way right now. Uh, obviously, of course, as you can tell, we're outside the Vitality Stadium for this one, because that's where Arsenal will next play, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, welcome aboard, everyone. Um, make sure you leave your comments down below. Tune in. Uh, well, watch the whole video to the end. Leave a like. React. Uh, obviously, of course, this will go down as a premiere of some sort. So make sure that you do uh, interact. And we're going to start off quite swiftly with. Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Why the hell do my scrolling buttons never work on this scroller? Alright, so yeah, Premier League Game Week 3 predictions here for you right now. We'll start with Tottenham versus Wolves. I'm going to go quite swiftly. We're 3-1 last season. Wolves beat Tottenham 2-0. Uh, uh, was it 2-0 or something like that? Uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, however, this season I think it's going to be a different game. Wolves have lost key players such as Connor Cody. Can't really remember any other, other names, but there has been some players they've lost. They started to really drop in form at the end of last season. Um, uh, and as much as Tottenham did drew, draw 2 2 against Chelsea, nearly lost, I felt like they didn't deserve a point off them. I believe that they should be beating Wolves, and I do believe it'll be a 3 1 win. I reckon Wolves will get a goal, but I Spurs will win. Yeah, 3-1. Moving on to Crystal Palace versus Aston Villa. Now, I may be going against the run of stats with this one in particular. However, I think that Crystal Palace put um, showed that, that after the Arsenal defeat, they can definitely compete after a, well, not so deserved, but definitely merited. 1-1 draw against Liverpool. I think they should be beating Aston Villa. And for that reason, I have gone Crystal Palace 3, Aston Villa 0. And we'll move on to Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Now, Nottingham Forest got a massive result against West Ham United, of course, at the city ground. However, uh, I believe that their away performance to Newcastle United was really poor. I thought that they weren't good enough in every single aspect of that game. And I think with this being an away fixture, I think Forrest will begin will, will struggle. And I think that Everton, with their home crowd, will definitely win 2-1 in this one. Fulham versus Brentford. Uh, again, you know, Brentford came off a really good win. 4-0 against Manchester United. you got to give them praise for it. But Fulham are a good side and they got... Really, two really good draws against Fulham, uh, against Liverpool, and also Wolves. And I can't see Brentford hurting this Fulham side, unfortunately. Now, I may be wrong here. Maybe Brentford might, because you know Fulham are one of those sides that supposedly are classed as yo-yo. But I think that it will be Fulham who come out as the winners of this one, and I think it will finish Fulham two, Brentford nil. Leicester versus Southampton. It's what I say quite often with this one. I'm going to go 4-1. I think that Leicester will fail to keep the clean sheet, but will win quite comfortably. The big game for me, Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Now, I have gone 1-0 Arsenal for this one. And the reason being for it is because, well, it should have been 1-0 against Crystal Palace. But if you... Because I don't really applaud my team for getting own goals. Um, so technically, to me, that was a 1-0 away win. And away to Bournemouth, we don't have the best of goal scoring or goal difference, if I make sense. Goal margin records at this stadium. So, 
I, I was thinking about saying two you know, but I'm going to stick to a simple just one nil Arsenal. Uh, Leeds United versus Chelsea. Now, Leeds have been in a very good form. They beat Wolves. They came back to beat Wolves 2-1, uh, whatever it was. Um, and I thought that was a fantastic performance by a Leeds United side who I can't tell you how much they struggled last season. And then they pulled off another cracking result. And they should have really beaten Southampton, to be honest with you. They went 2-0 up, unfortunately, for them. Southampton came level, but they played really well in both of those games. And... I can't, you know, I can see them challenging Chelsea. However, if you look at it in the run of stats, and you look at Ch look at Chelsea's big six side, and you look at last season, I'm going to say Leeds United nil, Chelsea two. We'll, we'll we'll go on to West Ham versus Brighton. Now, this is an interesting one for me to call, uh, but I am going to put West Ham nil, Brighton one, and here's the reason why. Now, West Ham, very good side last season at the start. Very good. But second half of last season, you started to see them just drop down, get poor results, you know, lose at, at home to Southampton, 3-2, lose at home, 3-2 to Leeds, lose 2-1 to Arsenal, even though we should be beating them. And we are one of the only big six sides that don't struggle against West Ham. Besides Man City, I think it would be, it's harsh against West Ham, but at the same time I don't want to condemn Brighton because I feel like in their last two games, Brighton, you know, no one against the Newcastle side who looked pretty damn decent in that draw to hold out for the result and go to Old Trafford and beat Manchester United 2-1, you know, for the, and beat them for the first time ever at that ground is absolutely phenomenal, and I think that it would almost be be wrong for me to say of anything otherwise than a Brighton win. Also, West Ham have scored a Premier League goal. They may have beaten Viaborg last night in our watch log, but I just can't see West Ham scoring, and I can see someone, whoever it is for Brighton, getting a goal whenever it is. I can see that I can always picture that they'll be up for it, you know, another away game for Brighton. And I know that they are good away from home. So, West Ham nil, Brighton 1. Newcastle versus Man City. I've made it simple. I've decided Newcastle United nil, Manchester City 5. It's what you'd expect from Manchester City against Newcastle United. Really, they should be beating them whether Newcastle are oil or a change side or not. Manchester City will have them. I'm sorry to Newcastle fans, but this is going to finish Newcastle United now, Manchester City 5. And we'll finish with the big one. The big one to a lot of people. Manchester United versus Liverpool. Now, Liverpool, of course, have been in a bit of a struggling form recently. They've not really done anything, they've only scored three goals, they've got a zero goal difference, two draws, um, two points out of a possible six, and I don't fancy them. At the moment, however, when you look at it from a Manchester United perspective, they'll be thinking, we are cr pretty damn shit, and you know, we are going to get battered. So I'm looking at this from a Manchester United point of view, not a Liverpool point of view, because the Liverpool fans' fans' point of view would be, we're going to get beaten. Well, no, I'm looking at this from a Manchester United point of view, and I'm going to say Newcastle, uh, Manchester United nil, Liverpool 6, full-time. So that's been the Premier League predictions video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like. Uh, hit the subscribe button, we are going to be bringing you a lot more content. Uh, I did decide to cancel the Norwich versus Millwall uh, stream tonight, but that's not a problem, is it? Anyway, this has been me, you've been you, leave a comment, interact, let us know what you think, give us your predictions, and bye-bye for now. See ya.